Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Okay, you guys, it's time for Find It Friday where we hide an item in the vlog and you guys say down in the comments below exactly where it is for your chance for a shout out. Today it is the chocolate chip. chocolate chip. This guy's pretty big. You can't quite tell because I'm close up on him. So put it down in the comments below where he's hiding in the vlog for your chance for a shout out. Okay, you guys, so yesterday we mentioned briefly in the vlog that I've been struggling with an earache. I've had it for three, three days now, and it's gotten worse every day, and I've had a hard time sleeping, like, all night last night. It was just, like, pounding, throbbing. Have you ever had, like, a throbbing pain where it just hurts really bad and it throbs like a pulse? And it was like that all night, and I was like, this is ridiculous. I woke up at 6 a.m., after not getting very much sleep all night. I woke up at six. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> oh, Mikey just stubbed his toe on the oh. stool. Oh, that's like the worst. <laughs> well, it's the pinky toe, so it's the worst worst. <gasps> not the pinky toe. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that wasn't me. Yeah, it happens. The chair's way over there. It's way over well, there. Well, yeah, it wasn't even close, man. What are you doing? <laughs> But anyway, um, 6 a.m. I woke up and I couldn't get back to sleep because it was like boom, 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 boom. And I was like, this is awful. I should just get up and get ready and go to the doctor. My doctor, luckily, or our doctor, luckily is also a walk-in clinic. So I'm like, if they can't get me in, like they should be able to get me in today. I called them and they called me back right away and they're like, yeah, you can come in this afternoon. So I'm gonna go get my ear checked. Hopefully they can fix me. Got a bug in your ear. Don't Something even. Crawled inside there. I have been, yesterday I was totally wigging out because I thought for sure. Mom, I don't see a bug in my ear. You don't? Oh good. I thought for sure that that's what happened. I thought a bug had gotten in my ear and who knows. And so yesterday I was like, oh my gosh. And I had Michael pour some peroxide in there and the noise it was making from the bubbles was freaking me out. And What's I'm like, going, I know, I was like, what if it's, and I'm like, Michael, look at my ear, look at my ear, do you see anything? Cause I thought maybe like little like legs would be sticking out. I know it's gross, but mm. I was totally freaking out. That, that could have been a love bug. We don't have too many bugs in this house. I think we it's, see spiders very if often. it's a bug, it's something aggressive. That's like angrily doing things inside my ear. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> Ready to drive? What? Here you go. No. <laughs> Get in. Are we actually doing this now? Foot on the brake. Which one's the brake? <laughs> what? That should be like day one. You know. No, I haven't. You've started mom's car before. It's this one, right? No, that's no. the gas. This one. Foot on the brake. Yep. Push the button. Okay. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> that's the hardest part. The nurse came in and looked. So far I know there's nothing living in there. I'm leaving the doctor. She looked in my ear. Actually, the first guy came in and he was kind of like in a hurry and he's like, let me just look in your ear real quick. And I'm like, okay. And so he took a peek and he's like, all right, um, you'll see the doctor in a minute. I was like, okay. And he said that he, I guess he's one of the guys that cleans out your ear if you have like wax buildup or anything gross like in your ear. So he's like, I just needed to see if I needed to clean your ear um, before I leave or whatever he was going to lunch. I was like, okay. I said, is there anything in there? Like, you know, living in there? He's like, no. So then the doctor looked at my ear and she's like, it's really red and inflamed. And she's like, I don't know why, but it is. And I said, well, I have like an allergy where my ears get really itchy. So I think I probably like stuck my finger in there and scratched my ear. And she said, sometimes it can happen. Like if you really dig around with a Q-tip and irritate it, there's really no way of knowing. So she gave me a prescription for drops. So Michael's gonna have to help me put these drops in my ear again. And yeah, she's like, that's totally why. And she also told me I could take like allergy medicine, just like over the counter stuff and that it would help with the itchy ears sometimes. And like my nose runs all the time. So hopefully it'll help with that. I don't know. It's seasonal allergies are, are crazy for everybody right now. So anyway, I'm done. I know what it is. And now I got to go to the pharmacy and get me some ear drops. Look at you. How do mommy's shoes fit? 
shuffle, shuffle. I think you got a little bit of growing. Two feet in one shoe. Yeah, you got a little bit of growing to do before they fit you. My goodness, look at those cute little footsies. Before she starts stealing all your shoes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no kidding. So I finally made it home and the doctor ended up calling the first pharmacy that I went to, which is our regular pharmacy. And I ended up going back there and waiting and it was like almost five o'clock and they finally got something called in. So I have an antibiotic ear drop for my ears. So I'm gonna like, if I wasn't so hungry, I would go lay on the couch and have Michael put them in right away. But I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten anything. But <laughs> Michael's like, you went shopping, didn't you? So did well, you bug in your ear? no <laughs> bugs. <laughs> First thing I said to the guy was, can you just check and make sure there's nothing in there living? <laughs> that was my biggest concern. Once I knew that wasn't the case, then I was okay. It was just a matter of, driving all over town and trying to get a medication that evidently none of the pharmacies anywhere have that first medication that they prescribe. So they had to end up prescribing something else similar. But I'm home and I'm starving. Do you have food left over for me, I hope? Did you cook dinner? Oh no! <laughs> well, maybe I'll just skip to eating these then. I picked these up because I know you like them. I still can't taste. It's like 30% of my taste is back. Oh, That's it. well then they're for me. After the day I've been through, <laughs> I wanted some of these. I know what's going in my mouth is either sweet or salty, but like the full taste, I'm not getting yet. Still, oh. I don't know how many, two weeks, 14 days without taste buds. Okay, so I guess I gotta get dinner going. So we are going to try that other cook-up meal that I got on Monday with our grocery shopping. It is, what are you? Uh, Italian style pork and vegetables. So this is the one where we're not sure <laughs> what the Italian means. Like it has an Italian style sauce, but I do not know what that is. But we'll give this one a try. We usually do the lemon chicken. They did not have any in stock. So I figured I'd grab this and try something new and hopefully it's okay. If it doesn't turn out good, we've got cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be hot. Yeah. Michael's gonna do the taste. You're starting with a potato, that's a safe bet. There's meat in there too, but. I can't taste. Oh no! I guess Michael won't care then. I guess I need to taste it. Yeah, I'm getting a little uh, Italian something or other. Oh. What kinda... did you eat? I tried the pork. Yeah, I had some of the meat, and it's actually pretty good. It's not like rubbery. Ooh. It tastes like good, like pork meat. It's a little zesty. Oh, it's good. So what's the sauce taste like then? Since I can't taste it and since you guys can't taste it. Maybe like like lemon zesty. Like that's all I can think of. <laughs> lemon, lemon zesty. Like I can't think of what else I can Any taste. Any herb flavors that you can yeah, taste? Yeah, lemon herb. But like so maybe it's like just an lemon? Italian dressing hmm. type thing, but not in like a weird way. Cause I was like, oh, uh, that sounds kind of weird. It's really good. So it's not extremely saucy, as you can tell. It is a little on the dry side. Mm, it's really good. <laughs> I like the flavor. You gonna give it a try? She's okay. gonna partake in the... I need a fork or a spoon or something. Ah, just use your fingers. Where's your fork? Your fork's right here. Try. Oh, you're gonna try the going potato? The potato. Blow on it a tiny bit. <laughs> here, I'll eat it. Well, I'll try the meat. Try the meat. That kind of tastes like sausage. Oh. You know, I'm gonna, this is Italian, I would call it more Mediterranean than Italian. Because good. it does have a Mediterranean oh, flavor. Those little white things. Onions. Those are little onions? The little onions, yep. I like this chicken. Oh man. You it's like really the meat? Good. Oh, I really like this one. That's pork, just like what we had yesterday, pork chops. Okay, so we just did a review on this. It should be up this morning. So fun. This is such a fun game. It really is. Okay, okay you gotta twist them. Oh. And match okay, the colors. Right there. And I blew there. This one's red and blue. So slide this one. Okay, now you need green and red there. Got it. Okay, you need red and blue. Watch her be better at it than mommy was. <laughs> yeah, hey, you take it. You go, <laughs> She's better at it than me. There's the red and the blue one. 
There's the blue and yellow on the other side. You need yep. Red and blue. You gotta, you gotta twist them, or you gotta slide them. Blue and yellow. Twist. There you go. <laughs> Wait. Switch that one back. Didn't you have that one already matched? Yeah. You switch it back and it's already matched. Switch that. Yeah, flip switch it, that one it, back. Flip it. There you go. Back, now do the other one. Now you need red and green. Yep. <laughs> hey guys, so mommy ears hurting. So mom went to the doctor and she had to use a medicine to make her ear feel better. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Four, just four drops. Four. What? The, you're gonna have to tell me because I can't yeah, see Yeah, you're that good. Low. One, one, one. That was one. Two. Two. Quit moving. Sorry. Quit moving.